Friday. Well, Clyde, 26-year-old Casey Fryman is in the Middletown jail tonight on $25,000 bond. He turned himself in a couple of days ago after he allegedly beat that bartender. The tape is startling. Monroe police say the man without his shirt is Casey Fryman. After being told to leave by the bartender, he lashes out with a bar stool, striking her and then leaping over the bar to continue the attack. He picks her up, slams her to the ground, stomps on the back of her head, and then leaves. That bartender is Tarina King Smeal. He was having a confrontation with his dad. His dad's a regular drinker in here. And um, they were fight, arguing over the car keys. Smeal didn't like the way it was going. He was getting pretty out of control, and I asked him to leave nicely. And he didn't listen to me, and I said, can you please leave? And he came around the bar. He goes, I'll tell you what I'm going to do to you. She threatened to call the police, and that's when she says he snapped. So then he fixed up the bar stool, hits me in the head right here with it. He cleared the bar, just jumped right over it, and um, he started punching me. And then he picked me up like a little rag doll and body slammed me and then stomped the back of my head. As it was happening, she thought the worst. And it just traumatized me, you know, and I, I felt, yeah, this is it. But he stopped, thank God. Today, life at Mutt's main bar was as it normally is, a far cry from the night of the attack. Everybody knows everybody in here, and it's a really great place to hang out. We have a lot of fun in here, but for something like that to happen, you know, it's... It's not, it's, it was a fluke, you know, and I was scared, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm over it now. Again, Casey Fryman is held on $25,000 bond, charged with assault and an attempted felony assault. He will be back in court later this month in Middletown. Clyde.